random figures who are who take their place upon the stage and then exit. Everybody, every character, such as they are, mm -hmm. comes from a position of, um, of, a, of an already adopted position. This is the way how he can put them under control, that he already has some of them under control. You have uh, Dostoevsky, who, as you say, is realizing in his imagination a revolution. And he's all for free. Yes. The John Reed character, the journalist, is excited and thrilled with what he's seeing and saying, this is going to change the world. He talks about noise rising, doesn't he? Life uh, changing tremendously. You have this feeling of not understanding uh, of, of purpose, of falling into Chaotic. What happens in a revolution is that everything is destroyed. Everything, the good, the bad, the indifferent, it's all, it's all becomes equal. The whole development of, of Russia brought it to the point when it was unavoidable. Yeah. So it was not somebody's uh, villain will uh, or wish. The impulse to change things came from was sort of inevitable, but it was then manipulated by certain people for their own ends. And the rest of us, or the rest of the people, are performing their little acts upon the stage, and he is, you know, he is the great um, conductor of it all. I think the naivety lies in the fact that you think, or they think, or anybody thinks, that a system can make people better. It doesn't. It actually, they, the people, are exactly the same as they ever were. Evil, kind, good, whatever. 